Okay, over here, uh, back with uh, Coach so Dave. Marcus said the uh, worst, uh, worst uh, last uh, year is uh, the, the worst playing on it, or do you not feel it as much today? Uh, I think adrenaline helped me out a lot today, but I guess we felt it. Um, definitely feel a lot tomorrow, so I'm going to stew. Uh, you know, the rest of the trainers did a great job this week for, them, for the game, and uh, shout out to a lot of credit to them. What was it in the second half that allowed you guys to start clicking offensively? I think we just got to make, make plays, really. Uh, it just came down to the executing. Um, obviously, I had one-on-one -on -one matchups there in the second half. Yeah, he wasn't really good enough in the first half. They played about his own. Um, in the second half, he kind of um, took their risk playing one-on-one -on -one with me and the rest of the receivers, and then we made a pick for it. Do you believe you were as open as you were on that first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely open. Yeah. 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 Dave was talking about how there doesn't seem to be any of you guys. Through the first half, wasn't what you wanted. But yeah. It wasn't pressing the issue or panicking or trial. Mm -hmm. How would how did you describe that presence of mind that you guys compared to the well, yeah, I mean, I think uh, Notre Dame was a big big step for us. I think it gave us a lot of confidence that you know, we need to go score, we can go score. And obviously, we want to score every drive, but um, you know, we really need a touchdown, maybe right at that. Especially that first drive coming on the second half. Uh, Maryland went down, they had a score. And we kind of, we kind of had an answer there. So uh, I think just overall, we're just building that confidence in the whole offense. Did you feel any frustration in the first half, or is that just part of it? Part of it. I mean, that's just part of it. Um, you know, you're not going to succeed as much as you want to all the time. It's just more as a how you bounce back from it. I think we did a good job that second half. Marvin, what do you think it says about this team to bounce back like that, to not panic and to push forward, have a second half like that? I think it shows the growth and maturity of this team. Uh, like I said, Notre Dame was a big step for us. Uh, it gave us a lot of confidence that you know we can battle back against anybody, and you know, we need to make plays. Talking about that grit and perseverance, how were you guys able to instill that? Other than the Notre Dame game, how were you guys will continue to keep on having that perseverance and grit each and every game? Coach Mick, Coach Mick, all off season, uh, you know he trains us, you know, really hard, you know, through winter, uh, spring, and summer. Uh, I think you know, he highlights that um, come game time. So I think a lot of credit goes to Coach Mick that this time. Does that, does that kind of come from the other side? Like, you know, these teams are just holding it up, not panic, and things aren't going the way you want. It seems like a lot of these guys, you know, you've talked about with Kyle, but even some of them. Right, well, we're going to open up the front here with questions for Rod. Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, I'm not one to say much, so you know, I kind of let everybody else, you know, be the you know, rah rah guys and you know, motivate the team. You know, they kind of just see me. If they see me, they see me. I'm relaxed. I'm still out there having fun. So uh, that's kind of my role in that. Uh, but I think definitely the leaders we have on the team, like Tommy and uh, Xavier Johnson, and, uh, Kyle, stuff into their role too. That helped the team go a long way. Yeah. Martin, how's the ankle? Good enough. Obviously. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> now, what do you do? I mean, are, are you going in? Or did you go into this game knowing? how you were feeling, maybe a little apprehensive, approaching things in a different way, or was it just same old approach to the game yeah, no, plan for you? Definitely not the same old approach. Um, going into this game, I kind of know it's going to be a little struggle for me, you know, moving around in different routes. Uh, I think the coach put me in great positions where you know, I didn't have to use the ankle as much as I really wanted to. Um, you know, so definitely a you know, collective effort there. Uh, like I said, shout out to the strength, of, uh, not the strength, of just the um, trainers. I uh, worked with a lot of uh, Stu, um, you know, that whole week just preparing me for the game, just uh, take the ankle differently, just trying to see, you know, what's more comfortable for me. So it's definitely a collective effort. I mean, but it, it felt still good enough for you, like you said. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think so, yeah. Touchdown helps, right? Yes, yeah. it does. <laughs>